Jersey. He's a key member of the Foreign Relations Committee. Senator, thanks very much for joining us. Good to be with you, Wolf. All right, so President Obama just commuted Chelsea Manning's uh, sentence. Uh, we pointed out she was sentenced to 35 years in prison, some, uh, uh, what, three or four years ago. Respond to this. Uh, why do you think he did it? Did he do the right thing? Well, I don't know why he did it, and so I'll look forward to hearing his reasoning because I just heard about it. But the reality is, is I have serious concerns uh, about equivocating sentences when national security is at stake. What happened here is that literally hundreds of thousands of documents were released. It put national security at risk. It put individual operatives at risk. It put our national interests at risk with other countries. Uh, and at a time that we are seriously questioning what Russia did as it relates to our recent elections and the role that WikiLeaks and a different iteration has uh, played in that regard, I'm not sure what type of message we send here. And so I'm really uh, surprised that the president took uh, Action, and I have concerns about what message we send about ultimately revealing a sensitive national security documents. So you, you have serious questions about why the president did this. You'd like to hear more of an explanation directly from him. Is that what I'm hearing? I, I would. I'd, I'd like to hear why it is that he took this step, because there are very serious consequences when you release the type of documents that she did. And at the end of the day, uh, what message do we send for the next person who thinks that they can get a treasure trove of documents, release them because something inspires them to do so, and the consequences that flow from that? We have agents in the field. We have operatives in the field. Uh, we have security situations set up across the world, both through our military and non-military entities. We have interests in terms of our advocacy in countries abroad, which was also revealed here. So at the end of the day, there was enormous damage done. And whether it be her or whether it be Snowden or whether it be Assange, at the end of the day, we're going to have to have a clear and unequivocal message that, in fact, you cannot uh, ultimately uh, put the United States at risk because of your individual actions by making public uh, critical documents that are classified and secret uh, and put the U.S. at risk at the end of the day. Now, there has to be serious consequences for that. And if at the end of the day you think you can do that and then have your sentence commuted, I'm not sure that we send the right message. The, the argument that, you, that I've heard from some, uh, some critics already, uh, Senator, is that what the president has done in commuting Chelsea Manning's sentence is, in effect, to send a message to others in the U.S. intelligence community, in the U.S. military, go ahead and do what, what, he, uh, what she did, uh, and, uh, and uh, down the road you, you probably will get a more lenient sentence. Uh, that, that's the argument that will encourage more of these kinds of leaks to WikiLeaks. Uh, I'm sure you've heard that concern as well. Well, I've heard that in other arguments in the past, and it is something that is a legitimate, I think, valid argument. You know, the, the reason at the end of the day that there are consequences, punishment when convicted uh, for ultimately releasing national security documents that put the national security of the United States at risk, those who serve it in the armed forces, those who serve it uh, through clandestine operations, uh, those who serve it in our uh, embassies abroad, uh, is to send a very clear message that you cannot do that. Uh, and whatever calling you think you're answering, I think there has to be a severe consequence. Now, if in fact people believe that you can do that, and at the end of the day have your sentence commuted, or maybe walk away without that consequence, I think that is a real risk at the end of the day, and a, a legitimate public policy issue. Senator, I need you to stand by uh, because we have more questions for you. But first, I want to get back to our, 